Hi, sweetheart. I know I'm late with this video. I know that Valentine's Day was yesterday. So I know I'm in the doghouse. I'm, I'm sorry. But to make it up to you, I put this video for everybody to see so everyone can see how much I love you. You know, it's kind of crazy to think about how long we've been together. Like, God, I think I've actually honestly lost track of the years. So, I don't know how many Valentine's Days I've wished you. But I know that they've all been the best day of my life. I love you. I'm just kidding. Please don't be offended by my masturbation jokes. But in all seriousness, Valentine's Day was yesterday, so I've had love on the brain. You know, I had a couple of good Valentine's Days with my ex. Those were really awesome. And uh, I've had way more that have just really been lonely. Just to be perfectly honest. I remember this one Valentine's Day when I was having trouble getting over a crush. I had a crush on this girl for a long time and I hadn't seen her for a while and um, I showed up at her house on Valentine's Day with a bunch of red roses, or, uh, maybe they were pink roses, but point is her boyfriend was there. So that got real awkward real fast, actually I pretty much just turned around and fled. <laughs> You know, when I was little, before Valentine's Day could, could really involve a partner, um, my, my mom would always give me and my, my brother and sister chocolate on Valentine's Day and a card that told us how much she loved us. It was really sweet of her. Yeah. And um, this year I got a really nice email from her, so that was, that was actually incredibly nice. I feel like I shouldn't really hold anything against Valentine's Day because I had a pretty good day, but I didn't celebrate Valentine's Day. You know, I... You see this thing, this artifact, it's right by my eyes. This artifact of the light coming on the lens. I've always been so kind of fascinated by the by optics and lasers and, and just things, the way things work. Like, what is that what we're seeing? Lights bouncing around in that little tiny camera somehow, but how and where? And I can control it so like, I have this scar on my forehead that I'm sure you can see. This scar right here. I've had it since I was like three or, or something. I, I don't know, as far as I know I've always had it. I can position this little artifact. Now my lips are almost as glossy as my teeth. I know the last video I posted was like me and friends and hanging out and laughing so loud and having a good time, but that was, we videotaped that almost a month ago, which has taken a long time to edit it, and lately I've just, I've not been that happy, I've been really depressed, I've been sick, I've been physically ill, um, I think I had the flu, actually, and so, and I was just also feeling down because Valentine's Day was coming up and I didn't have a valentine, you know. So what I did is I, I just gave myself a big hug, just like this.
something that just said, I love you, Samantha. I think everyone deserves that. And say your name if you do it. Because it makes a difference, I think. Just, you know, transition is so hard. And life is hard. You know, even when transition's over. I mean, transition kind of makes life harder, but other transitions can make life harder, too. Things get hard, it's important to remember to love yourself, I think, no matter what happens. I think about if I'm old and have a long-term partner, like a life partner, and we're old and we start getting sick from old age and the health problems that happen and one of us dies, like if my partner dies before me, like, how am I going to survive the sadness? How will it not kill me too? And I guess I read that there is a scientific explanation for like a heart attack based on emotional stress like having your heart broken. So when sometimes people actually do die from a broken heart and have, I think that's awful. <laughs> I think that's what would happen to me if my partner died. And then I'm getting all melancholy. I guess there's been a lot of drama in the community lately about passing and, and I guess passing privilege and um, ego and personality and uh, and activism and stealth. So there's been a lot going on. I think there's been a lot of really interesting stuff being talked about. One of the topics of discussion, one of the hot topics, is passing. And I've, I've shared my thoughts on passing before, um, but basically I think that there are, there are more important things than passing, and that nobody passes perfectly. So, I feel like I started passing there came a time when I felt like I was passing, but it was, I feel to me like I'm passing. And I still, I frequently get stared at. And pretty much about 75% of the time, I wonder, is this person trying to figure out if I'm a male or a female? And what's changed is that I don't care what they think. <laughs> I love myself and I know myself and I am a deliberate being and I am more confident in who I am than I've ever been and maybe too confident sometimes. I don't know as I go off the edge of the screen. I'm going to do the rest of the video like this. Actually, that's how I was trying to tie everything together. Um, love yourself. Just like, I'm there for me. <laughs> even though... Even though I don't have a partner. And my cat is there for me. And YouTube is there for me and my friends, my coworkers, my family. And you deserve somebody too. So even if it's yourself, just know you love yourself. Really feel it. And then maybe you won't care about passing so much either. But I've recorded 20 minutes of footage, so I need to start editing. And I will see you next time.